Ready? One more property, the multiplicative property. Absolutely. What are we talking about? Haha, <laughs> ghetto. What, the multiplication property? No, I just taped the addition property and what did I do? I went through and I erased edit and put in multiplicate. I'm not even sure if it is spelt right. <laughs> what else did I do? I changed that plus to a dot, not a dot. I changed it to times. Huh, why? Because these things are like five bucks a piece. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. I want you to think about that scale. Now, what if you doubled each side? It would still be imbalanced. What if you take half off each side? Then you'd buy more, because it's like half off, it's on sale. No, I'm saying you took the same amount off each side, so it's still in balance. Let's go through and let's get a couple of applications of these guys. My first application comes by way of minus 7x is equal to 28. We need to talk about the multiplicative inverse. The multiplicative inverse is the number that we multiply by the number the product is 1. What? I'm talking about how do I get rid of that 7? Right now it's like times 7. I'm going to divide it by 7. Yes. Or equivalently, multiplying it by its multiplicative inverse. Ah, the multiplicative inverse of minus 7 is minus 1 seventh. Why? Because the multiplicative inverse is the number that will multiply by the number the product is 1. You, there can only be 1. Okay, ha. I promised like five years ago that I would work that reference in, and there, fine, you got it. Ready, 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 ready. How do you undo multiplication? A little bit of division in our lives. I divide that side by minus one seventh, or divide that side by minus seven. Divide that side by minus seven, and then on the left, divide, uh, uh. Cause minus seven divided by minus seven is one. X, he is by himself. And then 28 divided by a minus 7. There the signs are different, so you divide, and that quotient is going to be negative. So this is minus 28 divided by 7 is 4. Is that true? Yes, on a good day. Yeah. Woo, she is dripping, soaking wet. Next. I'm over here to this example with a little fraction action because I don't want to be accused of just doing the easy ones. And here we go. Now, wait a minute. Over there, we undid multiplication with a little bit of division. So over here, what do I want to do? I want to divide by 2 sevenths. Why? Because over there, I divided by a minus 7. Here, I divide by minus 2 sevenths. But you may have heard this rhyme, this hum, this hymn. Dividing by a fraction is the same as... Uh -huh multiplying by the reciprocal. You gotta flip it. What's my point? That you have to flip it? No. My point is it's just like that when we're dividing by a two sevenths, which is the same as multiplying by seven halves, which is the multiplicative inverse. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the number that when multiplied by the number, the product is one. And then what you do onto one side, you must also do onto the other. I multiply this side by a seven halves, and I'm going to multiply this side by a seven halves. And then, left on the left side, they write, uh, 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 oh. And what's P going to be? Ooh, over there on the right, see? That's four oomphs times seven halves. And then you can multiply straight across and get 14 halves and then reduce. But I deduce that we can reduce by a deuce first. Whew. Decaf. Uh, uh, oh. And then two times seven is 14. And I realize I misspoke a moment ago, but P going to be 14. And if you don't believe me, check it. Plug it back up into the original. Ah, oh, oh, it's so crossed out. Hmm. Cross them out and put a K? I don't know. Ingo Wood? I don't know. I think I heard Dre say it one day. It might even not even be Dre. If you know that reference, put it below. Now let's go to another example. I'm over here. Yes. Here, we're going to need to simplify. What do I mean? We're going to need to gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. And we're going to do that so that we can find just one M. Yeah. And if you know anything about my personal life, that's all you need is just one M. Ready? 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 What is he talking about? 
I'm talking about gathering like terms. Here you have seven M's, and there you have six more M's, and then somebody comes along and takes four M's from you. Oh man. So then seven and six is, wait for it, 13 M. And then uh, we're going to subtract out 4M, uh, and that's going to be 63. Here, what am I doing? I'm only doing one step at a time until you're professional. I don't encourage step and skips. And then 13 minus 4, wait for it, 9. Yes, this is 9M. Uh, why? Because they had opposite signs, so I subtract and associate the sign of the bigger, and then 13 minus 4 is 9. Uh-huh. And then that's going to be 63. Tee-hee, tee-hee. And now we have just turned this into a problem like our first example. Uh-huh. How do we undo our multiplication? A little bit of division in our lives. I divide this side by 9 and I divide that side by 9. Fine. If I... Uh, uh, oh. So M... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It ain't my fault. Did I do that? Did I do that right? Is 7 times 9 63? There's some weird finger game. But yes. <laughs> but if you don't believe me, check it! I think it's fine.